I'm going to be modifying my observational drawing video and um, going to be drawing this chili pepper instead. Um, so how you want to start is with the overall basic shapes of your object that you are going to be drawing and you are going to be choosing something from nature so I chose a chili pan plant that we have growing in a pot here. So my basic shapes are going to be the chili itself, the leaves around it and its stem. So I will start with the chili and I'm just going to very generally draw in its overall shape. very rough, very light, in order to allow for erasing and going back later, just as so. I'm pretty happy with that beginning shape, so I'm gonna move on to the stem, which kind of has these little ruts. And then it goes into a more curved form there. Again, don't worry about perfection right away. Just get a very general rough sketch going that's nice and light set so that you can go back and erase later. I'm pretty happy with that overall. I'll go back in and change things that I don't like later. But for the time being, you can tell that it's a stem and the chili pepper as well. So now I'm going to go into the leaves around it, um, judging the distance from the chili pepper there. It's got a little bit of a gap. And then going into the overall shape of that leaf there. I see that it gets real skinny here. So I'm going to go around this way. It'll be helpful for you to choose a more close up object to begin with so that you can get the basics of drawing those shapes that you see in the leaves or maybe you chose a flower and you're drawing the petals of a flower or um, the maybe a pine cone or a rock or something would be a great starting point um, just because you have them closer up and you're able to see those shapes a little bit better. So I have that leaf drawn in. I'll go ahead and draw the leaf behind it, kind of judging where it connects or intersects this leaf here. Um, I'm going to say it's about there. And then going in and drawing that shape as well. Um, the great thing about drawing things from nature is that they're organic shapes. So you have a little bit of freedom with um, exactness. They don't have to be exactly the same as what you see as long as you have the very general shape and form you're going to have your shape made for the leaf. So it's probably not exactly the same as the actual leaf, but it's close enough where I can be happy with the result that I'm making. But again, like I said, um, very light to begin with so that you have the ability to go back and any race things that you want to change later or perfect later. Don't think that your drawings need to be perfect by any means, but just getting those overall shapes in are going to be helpful for you there. Going into the leaves up here, I can see that one 
the corner of the leaf touches the first leaf that I drew. So I can go in and draw that leaf. Again, very rough to begin with and just looking at the distances and the negative spaces you're creating as well from the stems and the leaves and things like that for me it may be something different for you depending on what it is you're drawing but looking at those negative spaces in between your objects you're actually drawing is just as important because those help with the proportions and the distances that you're trying to achieve. So far, I'm pretty happy with mine. I could go back in and adjust a few things, but that can be for a later time. And then I got this little leaf up here. Notice I'm drawing the centers of the leaves as well, just to kind of help me see exactly that they're leaves and that's what I am drawing. The stems are going to be going and connecting in here. Looks like I got the back side of a leaf going on there. Just a very rough sketch to begin with and then later on you'll be going in to add more details such as the shading and things like that. If you want, you can even go in and draw the areas of highlights that you see if you get to a good point where the overall object looks good to you. That'll help you tremendously once you start actually shading because then you're able to identify, all right, this is a highlight, I leave that nice and light this is a shadow I can go ahead and shade that in dependent on where each of those are but overall I have a very good start to my drawing I can choose whether I want to continue this stem and um, draw in more of the background leaves but overall this would be a very good starting point of drawing from observing something in nature. I cheated a little bit just for the sake of this observation drawing and brought it indoors, but again, I encourage you to stay outdoors while you're drawing and just choose a few different things to draw to begin with and just practicing, recognizing the overall shapes of the objects in your drawing, whether it's going to be a tree, a flower, maybe it's a swing set or something that isn't exactly organic. I would suggest something organic just because you have that little bit of wiggle room to draw those shapes not as perfectly as what they need to be. But overall, just a very good start to it. As you keep going forward, you can start adding in more of those details and the areas of light and dark 